Debbie Newton, and I'm part of Angela's wonderful, awesome team. We all have seen Angela's beautiful displays that she posts for all of us to learn from, and I'm sure not everybody can put a display together just like she does. I know I can't, and I learn something from her all the time. So what we've decided to do tonight is a little bit of training to show you her gorgeous display and how she builds it. You will also find three attachments. In those photos, you're going to see the product line that she is actually using and see that it's not a ton of product. You're going to see the accessories that she adds to that. And you're going to see a few pieces that she brings along with her to have to show people, but it doesn't coordinate with her kit, so she hides it under her table. So with that being said, would like to show you the pieces that need to be in all of our kits. We have five wonderful departments that we, that we carry in our gift shops, and so they need to be part of each and every display. We all should have a piece of our home decor, at least one. Our wonderful, beautiful stoneware line, our forever fragrance line. Behind me, you're going to see some of these things that Angela will be using as well as our personalization line and our awesome Penelope Ann line. Every gift shop should have all of those departments shown. With that being said, I would like to introduce you to Angela, and she's going to show you the process that she uses to build her beautiful displays that we've all seen. Okay, hi, I'm Angela, and I am going to show you how I build my displays for my parties. I think it's imperative that every designer has an amazing display with a few items. I don't use a lot of products, but what I do is how I, when I use the prop, when I put the product together, it's how I put it together. So you can do what I'm doing and build it right in front of your guests at your party, or you can have it all built when they come in. I do it both ways depending on the time allowance, but it's really important that it's beautiful. Everything that I use is going to fit on this table. Nothing's gonna be off the table, and those are the products that I'm gonna talk about throughout the entire party. So I wanna start with the table. I believe it's important that you have a table or you have an amazing vignette set on the floor. I like black fabric, it works with everything, whether you're building a fall display, a winter, a spring, a summer, it doesn't matter, because I'm gonna be using other fabrics along with it and along with our Penelope Anne line. We have amazing scarves that you can add in. So a nice piece of black fabric that doesn't wrinkle. This is really important that you don't buy something that's gonna get all wrinkled because you are bringing this in and out of people's homes. You do not wanna carry it into your house and iron it, and you also do not wanna bring it into their home wrinkled. We're going to create like a boutique kind of feel when you go into those awesome boutiques and you just feel wonderful. That's what you want every guest and every hostess to feel um, with your display. So what I like to do is I like to start with my black fabric and then build up from there. So I am totally into whether it's placemats or napkins or anything like that. This is not currently or ever been in our line, but you can add a few pieces outside of our line. You don't need much. I just like to add a little bit of um, texture and color. So I'm gonna add these just like so. Very simple, easy, you can do this. It's just two little placemats. If you choose not to do it, you don't have to, but I, it's just what I like to do. I also like to make sure that I have different levels throughout my display. Now these are, pro this was product in our line that we no longer carry. So if you don't have these or something like this, you can easily use an empty box, but you're going to want to cover it with some type of a fabric. Or you can also wrap the box in an awesome wrapping paper and then go ahead and use that. Black wrapping paper would be nice. It would, it would blend in nicely. Or if you have a fabulous wrapping paper, like I have lots of zebra and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put these right here, and I'm just kind of building a base for the whole bottom of my display. The next thing on the opposite side, not that you want to see my back, but anyway, I'm going to be adding this. I believe this will be my second bestseller. Um, you'll want to make sure you carry lots of personalized items um, to your parties. They sell like crazy. So I'm just going to add this here. Now notice how it's extending off my table. I did tell you everything would fit on the table. I did not tell you it would fit like this. So you go ahead and take advantage and uh, allow it to be off because I'm going to go ahead and put a lot of other things on. 
Next, I'm gonna add this. Bean Pot needs to be in everyone's display. Love this one, it's the new Paris Lights one. It has the matching double bowls. It has the matching nine by 13 casserole. And I'm gonna go ahead and take this and place it up just like so. So you can already see how it's coming together. And if you've seen the snapshots, of all the product just kind of laid out, um, this is gonna make it more pleasing on the eye. And everyone that walks into your parties, whether you do it in front of them or it's already displayed, just gonna be in awe because it's absolutely beautiful product. Next, I love our stoneware. I use these all the time. I tell everybody at my parties, of course, they go everywhere, uh, not in your bedroom or anything. Well, you know, depends if I'm watching Netflix on my TV, but anyway. Um, they're, of course, um, dishwasher, microwave, oven, safe. I love them. I always carry the square one. They're pretty popular. And so I'm going to lay that right here. And I just like to teach at my parties. Um, using our product, of course, I would talk more about the bean pot, which you should do. If you don't know anything about the bean pot, uh, learn. Um, there's all kinds of information um, on the bean pot, so you need to learn that. But what I like to do is teach them a couple things that they can do at home. For instance, isn't this a cute little scarf? This comes in a set of two. It's this one, and it also comes with um, the zebra pattern one. And instead of just using this on me to accessorize me, I'm going to accessorize my plate. I'm going to take this, and I like to teach them. They can use a napkin, or we have Penelope hands, so I'm going to use this. And I like to teach them how you can take it and just fold it. I put a fold here, another fold, and then one more. Fold it over. I'm going to take this, put it on top of my plate. Isn't that adorable? Say yes out there. Debbie's behind the video camera. She's like smiling at me. It's because I'm so cute right now, right, Deb? Okay, so isn't that cute? Look at that. Very simple and easy. Show them how they can do that. Again, they can use a napkin. Next, I'm going to add the mini casserole, which has been renamed by Jessica. Um, the little baby bean cuts. Love these. Sell them all the time. Um, tell them everything that they can do with them. Notice how I'm going to keep the lid off mine because what I'm going to add is um, something that we don't carry. But again, um, showing them that, of course, they can use this for a meal. Um, don't eat these. They're artificial. Just to display on their table or their kitchen counter. Lots of ums. Mm. Okay, so just like that. Gorgeous. Don't you agree? Say yes, Debbie. Yes. Okay, next what I want to bring in is uh, more of the personalized items. This is, of course, the pizza bread panel. We personalized with your name. This one has the season with love. I just love it. So I'm going to go ahead and lay that here. Now, at my actual parties, I would never just lay it there. When I talk about it, I take it and I hand it to the person closest to me and I pass it around. And that's with almost every piece of product that we have. Starting with this, I would have passed this around. I would have passed this around. Not necessarily the plate, but most of the other items I do pass around throughout my party. Next, what I want to add is, um, this is an amazing piece. This is a Hostess exclusive item. It's huge. And it, look, at it bends all kinds of different ways if you wanted to. This would be great on a flat fireplace mantle, on a hearth, or any, anywhere you could fit it in your home. Now, I'm going to add it here, right back here on my display. And I'm going to bend it. And when you're creating a display, keep in mind, I didn't just wake up one morning and all this product showed up in my garage and I went out there and, oh, it was done. I have to play with it and move things around until I get it exactly how I want it. And after I do my first couple parties, sometimes it changes a little bit. But then I'm very comfortable with it and it always stays the same for a good six weeks to two months for me. Because uh, then I get bored and I need something else um, but play with it that that's the benefit of doing what we do we just get to play with all of the product so I'm gonna go ahead and add this right here and then next I'm going to add love this easel a little fork and spoon easel sell them all the time I'm gonna put it right here because on the easel this is my number one booker and my number one seller so not only do I sell a ton of them I book a ton of parties because of this this is an absolutely free gift for my hostess when she has two bookings at her party. And um, of course, she doesn't get this till the second party holds. So I'm gonna add that right here. And notice how the candle uh, holder back here is just kind of like a staple and it's also giving 
my cutting board a little protection, you know, because we bump into it, we don't want it falling. Now again, I'm totally into accessorizing, not necessarily my body, but certainly uh, my home. So what I want to do is I want to add a little bit more color and texture. So just a little kitchen towel, just like so. And then I'm going to add a napkin. Now what I do, notice how it's nice and sturdy. I do iron these <laughs> at home first. I use starch on them so they'll last me a couple months or six weeks to two months in my, in my display and then I don't have to worry about them looking all wrinkled. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and add that here. And you can teach at your parties um, just for an interesting look on their own kitchen counter instead of having it all by, all by itself. You can go ahead and add um, a little bit more color even though this is black. And anyone watching this that knows me, of course it's black. Um, anyway, next. Um, the next thing I want to do, love this. This is our new Penelope Ann, uh, one of our new Penelope Ann scarves. Um, I was just recently at, in Atlantis and I wore this with a teal shirt, believe it or not. In fact, Penny Carlisle said, Angela, you have color on. Um, at your own parties, I would strongly suggest you doing a couple of scarf tying tricks. Again, they're all over uh, Designer Connection. You can learn from there. There's flyers, there's videos. I teach this at your party. If you teach it, they'll buy them. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and on my candle holder here, remember this hostess exclusive item, just for our hostesses, I'm just going to wrap this one. And then I just want the fabric, whoops, coming out onto my display a little. Isn't that pretty? Say yes, Debbie. Yes. Uh, just like so. So again, and, and it's okay that we're mixing this fabric with this fabric. Uh, my uh, almost 23 year old daughter mixes things all the time and it always looks adorable. So you can kind of see how this is all coming together. Now remember those still shots, you just saw the product laying there. And then you also see the accessories separately laying there. And this is just showing you how it's all coming together. Um, this is um, one of our new um, candles in the Forever Fragrance line. Love the glass, love the candle. Love the fact that we have several white selections and several different scents. So I'm just going to add this one here. Um, showing the new Forever Fragrance line to me is very important. Um, so you make sure you have a couple. You This particular piece, those of you that are overwhelmed out there like, oh my Angela, that has eight slots for a candle. You don't need eight candles, just bring a couple. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and add this right on my cutting board. Just like so, very simple and easy. I do like to talk a lot about our uh, plug-in warmers. Um, I have the little attachment. I show them, you know, I show it, uh, show it to them, show them the different kinds. Make sure that you bring um, either the gel samples, like you can buy on a designer order. Um, however, they weren't available before taping this video. So instead, Angela just decided to buy every gel that we have. Um, but that's okay. I, I didn't mind doing it. Um, so make sure that you have the gels. When I show the gels, I actually squirt it right onto my arm, smear it in, pass it around, and show them it's uh, environmental friendly. It has a great fragrance load. This, of course, is just the little zebra one. Let them know that this will go in a receptacle, whether it's horizontal or vertical. Another um, part of my display is I always make sure I have some of the crystals. I don't have the jar with me. Um, but I want to make sure I have some of the crystals with me so they see what they are um, and then you can just go ahead and add that. I'm going to keep it in here for now. Um, then we have more gels. Always talk about the Penelope Ann collection. I sell a ton of these. these. This is the purse organizer. It's not really called that. And this is of course for your lipstick. You can put lipsticks in here, pens in here. For those of you that don't know, this plastic comes out. Um, I was just on this trip and one of the designers told me, a uh, 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 director, Nicole, it's you, um, said, oh, I, I thought it was all foggy and then I realized, oh my, it's, it's really a mirror under there. Um, so make sure you're showing this at your parties. I sell a ton, comes in the red and then it comes in a zebra um, pattern as well. So I'm just going to put this here for now. Next, I'm still not really sure the name. I'm going to go ahead and add them here. You can do tons and tons and tons of different things with these. But before I show you the finishing, I'm going to show you what I'm going to be doing at all my parties. Let me move this for a second. All right. And I'm going to move this just so I have some space. 
I like to teach, I like to teach at my parties. I feel like my guests and my hostesses, if I leave them wanting more, I get more bookings, period. And so that's what you want. You want to make sure you entertain them and educate them all at the same time. Um, so I try to do that. So I like to teach napkin folding. So I'm going to take this napkin. I'm going to lay it down in front of me with the wrong side facing me. I'm going to take all four corners and put, bring them in. And um, I, I'm not sure if the video is catching this. Is it, Debbie? Uh, you, you can see it. Pretty much. Um, that, so all four corners in once. And then do the exact same thing. All four corners in again. I am telling you, this has been one of the hottest things at my parties over the years. I haven't done it in quite some time now. So we want to fold, fold. Now you're going to take this. You're going to take it and flip it over and fold again. So kind of like that little thing when you're in junior high and it went like this and does he love me, does he not, or something like that. He never loved me, but whatever. I have gym now, so it's okay. All right, so fold, fold, flip. Fold again, and then you're going to take, so let me go ahead and bring my tray back out because this will be an awesome seller. Sorry, I got this right here. I'm going to bring my pedestal out. I'm going to take what I just made, put it on top, instead of just having it blank. We, again, I like, I like the contrast between the black and the white. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this out. Remember, it's fold, fold, flip, fold, pull. So we're going to pull all four of those out. And what we're doing is making a little flower. And then we're going to pull these out. So that you'll be pulling eight little corners out. And then turn. I know if you're standing in front of me, you'd be ever so excited and screaming right now. But anyway, so isn't it adorable? Say yes, Daddy. Yes. And then you can put anything in here on the inside. She's like really jumping up and down over there. Uh, anything you want in the inside, you put if you're having a guest over. Well, actually, cookies, fudge, anything like that would be wonderful. But I'm going to put a candle. It's just easy and simple on this one. And then, however, we do carry a small little pedestal. So what I want to do with this one is, and again, this is what I would do at my parties just for some fun, interesting things. You can leave it all blank all by itself, or you can add, love this new candle just like so, and to create a little interest um, and texture here, I just happen to have some beans, uh, yep, beans, that you can um, just spread around. Mine are mixed beans and a couple split peas in there. And look at how absolutely adorable. Uh, don't let it dive off the end there, that would just not be good. Okay, so put that away. Next, we are going. I'm going to add again just a little, another little towel. Not for any special reason, just because I want to. So I'm going to. So we're going to add this right here. Again, you can do this in front of everybody at your parties, but you don't have to because a lot of you are stressing out like, oh my gosh, I would never do all that at my parties, and you don't need to. Um, and technically, I really don't do all of this at my parties. Uh, next, I want to add. Our little, this is uh, again a plug in fragrance warmer like the other one because I like to have a couple of samples um, of them. Um, here I'm going to add all of these baby bean pots. This is a zebra pattern. Like to have all the patterns with me of all the stoneware, even though right now you're technically only seeing one, two, um, three patterns. I really have the rest with me and I'll show you that in just a few minutes. Um, the next area I want to go into is. Move this. Where to go? Oh, all right. This is a must-have. See this? You can use styrofoam for many different reasons. So what I want to do? I love this. This is new. And uh, if you're watching this in the month of January or February, uh, I want you to keep in mind the price of this. So go through the catalog, look at the price. Because in the month of February, so in celebration of Penny's birthday, any hostess with a qualified party can receive this for a whole whopping one penny, which is amazing. So yay for us. So I'm going to go ahead and add um, this easel. This is our cookbook easel. Love it. I use it all the time. I need to move this for a minute. Um, I use it all the time, especially in the fall and winter time around the holidays for um, baking and things like that because I don't do it any other time of the year. Um, so I'm going to take my little piece of styrofoam 
And I just wanted to lift this up a little bit, so I put it on the bottom. That's the only reason I'm using it. Sometimes I put it in back of a print to lean it up a little further. Um, so just a couple little tricks that you can uh, do at your own parties to create more of an interest. For those of you that are worried it's going to fall off the end, it's really secure back here. However, if I do bump into the table, it will fall. So keep that in mind. Um, and then next, I want to make sure that we add all the elements in decorating. Even though we have, you can clearly see we're, we're getting to all the five departments that we carry, you want all the elements in decorating as well because they're all very important. Um, signature accessories, that would of course be all the little things that I added. Um, the next, uh, one of the next elements is um, the ambi ambiance, which is your lighting, or in this case, our candlelight. Next would be florals and green. Now, instead of you purchasing all the plants in our wine, uh, for instance, like the fern, I always carry the fern and it covers up my, my um, um, the totes that I use to bring in my display. Um, but instead of you purchasing everything, I like to purchase a couple of sprays and I cut them. These are cut. These are all cut. And then I cable tie them together so then I can spread it out throughout my display and I can show them how they can do that um, in their own home. So I'm going to start with the green one and I'm just going to, and I want you to notice this and then watch. Just by laying it in here, and this is just key in decorating as well, how awesome that looks. Next, I'm going to take this one. I'm going to just lay it right there. Isn't that beautiful? Debbie's smiling. Either it's just because she feels like she needs to smile at me or she really likes it. And then last, I wanted just to add a little bit more here. So I'm going to go ahead and add that here. Hopefully you out there in the world are liking this. I add some of our jewelry and our Penelope Ann line. Now, you'll notice how I don't have one of our necks to display our jewelry. Um, and you're allowed to. I mean, certainly you can put one here, you can put one wherever you want. However, instead, I thought, well, what the heck? I have this. So why don't I just kind of um, take our jewelry, and it kind of is dripping down, don't you agree? And we, I could display it this way instead, if you choose, and you would do the same thing. Um, these are all current, oh, but only till the end of the year. All right, no, not the end of the year, end of the month. Um, so I'm just going to add these here. And then if throughout my party, again, uh, this will be built for me at my parties. When I get there, I'm going to build it all, and then I'll talk about um, piece by piece. But I do like using some of the jewelry just to kind of, you know, decorate it a little bit. Um, keeping all the gold in one area. That's just me. You can do it however you want. Um, love these rings. So you can just add it wherever you want. And believe me, the, you know, they'll come, uh, your guests will come up here and be in awe um, of everything. You can add all of it everywhere, just dangle it up. Of course, if this is in your kitchen, I do not suggest that you hang this, this uh, necklace um, off your kitchen um, cutting board. Unless, of course, you were wearing it and got hot and then you, whatever. Okay, so that's it. Uh, and then last, I'm really going to add what's going to pull this all together and what's going to get you bookings. Uh, and this piece, I'm going to start with an easel. Uh, currently, this is in our line, so you need to get yourself an easel that will house this. Um, this particular piece, I'm going to add right here. Can you believe all this is fitting on this table? Again, I didn't wake up in the morning and it just appeared. I had to play with this for a while to get it to all work because I wanted to make sure it all fit on my table. And it fits beautifully on my table, wouldn't you agree? This is a Hostess exclusive. This is a Hostess exclusive, exclusive as well. You need to talk about it during your parties. Um, you also need to make sure you talk about the cutting board during your parties, all the departments, the, um, the stoneware, the jewelry, the totes, everything. Now, another thing that I do at my parties is I have under my table normally like a little backup things that I want to show. Like, for instance, I carry more than just one of our Penelope Ann um, scarf. So 
This one is a new one. Just so they can see, um, this one has the jewelry on it, so I take it, talk about it a little bit, and then I hand it off to a person and pass that around. Here's another one, black and white, has the butterflies on it. I talk about it for a second, I pass that off. Um, another thing that I like to do is once I'm talking about a bean pot, I, of course, you always want to offer the cookbooks and you always want to order or uh, uh, offer the bean pot basket. Um, so I always bring this with me. The only reason it's not in my display is to be quite honest with you, it didn't fit well and look good. It's not that I'm going to skip talking about it, but I'm not going to put it in the display. I want to make sure my display is stunning for the guests that walk in. Another thing that I do is I make sure that I have every single sample of the stoneware with me. For example, we have eight different um, patterns. This is um, the, the new Paris Nights. This is gonna be a hot seller, I already know it. We have our veranda, we have our zebra. Now I have, thankfully, these left over. Now you can't currently get these, but I had them. So it's all the other patterns, our berry, our Simply Summer, our Venetian, we have our Sonoma, and our celebration. celebration, thank you, Kelly. Celebration. Um, so I carry this. Now, if you don't have these, and if you're a new designer, you don't have these little samples, it's okay. You don't need to bring every sample, I just do. Um, however, over time, you as you collect things, um, maybe the little, you know, um, uh, baby bean pots or whatever, or you can also buy the just individual plates, the salad plates to go ahead and use to show all the samples of the stoma. And the reason I do it is because at every party, there is always someone saying, someone saying, oh, do you have that kind or do you have that kind? So it's just better to be safe than sorry. And also get with other designers in your area, split like a four pack. Um, that way each one of you, you know, four of you can have um, a sample of the stoneware. Another thing that I do at my party is, is I have these tickets um, that um, I am gonna do another video showing you how to do an, um, actual party, but these are always with me. I always bring a hostess gift um, with me. So this comes with me and it's just a thank you gift for my hostess. It's not required with our company, but it's something that I, Angela, do. And then I always have an awesome gift for raffles. And that's why I have, for one raffle, that's why I have these tickets. I make them ask me about my job and I give tickets away. And at the end, somebody gets this and the goal obviously is for them to have an exciting new career with Celebrating Home and for me to build my team. And then also, you wanna make sure you have everything you need, your catalogs, your order forms, your uh, open party dates. That's always with me. I'll give the next three openings. There's no reason for me to open my day book. Here's my next three openings. Uh, information about uh, how much money we make, uh, our fundraising program and also information about booking their party and things like that. Um, so all of that is what you need um, to really create um, an awesome display. So thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.